I was like, oh, oh crap, man. man. I was like, straight players, players that always <laughs> tune oh. themselves up, you know. <laughs> oh, uh, did anybody do that already? It's just amazing to be with these guys. Everyone composes and writes, so it, it's wonderful to play each other's music and try and bring it to life, you know. It's a, to say that it's a thrill to be here is, is, is pretty, you know, uh, mundane. I, I don't really have the words to describe, um, I'm tr uh, you know, the, the feeling that I have. I'm trying not to let it overwhelming because of the fact that I, I still have a lot of work to do and if I think about it too much I'll really freak out. <laughs> okay, the best Topaz gig was a, a, a regular gig we had at a club called Cat's Owl. Yeah, the Cat's Owl gig was, we played there every Friday night, so that was always a good gig, but the best Topaz gig was definitely a could be on your bandstand. Yeah, that was good. All of them musically were really great. Uh, one at Capilani Bandstand was really, really cool. We played our set with a bunch of other bands, and we hadn't been together very long, but um, what got to me was after we played some chick stuff, we played in the Seven Galaxy, and Captain Senior Mouse and everything, and uh, the audience wouldn't stop applauding for like five minutes. And I still think about it. Kind of, I looked at Benny and Benny looked at me and went, wow, and looked at Noel and it's like, they would not stop applauding. Now, the worst Topaz gig, you know, I have to think back quite a while, but I, it you know, something really stands out, which would be when we played at the University of Hawaii, uh, in, we played in this open, you know, open courtyard, uh, kind of in the, in the main uh, quad, and, you know, I think the sound was going right out to the English department building, you know, and the funny thing was this uh, lady comes out, running out there, and she says, you have to stop playing now, and then she comes over and starts grabbing Noel's cymbals to, to make him stop. Now the worst Topaz gig was, um, we played at La Mancha. We, we tried to go under the skies of a disco band and played all the disco stuff in the 70s. And, you know, we wore outfits and I had hair and I was a lot thinner. And... Uh, as uh, we got the, we needed to make some money, so we, we uh, played in a dance club till four in the morning at uh, La Mancha. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we were playing nothing but cover songs, Stevie Wonder, and all this stuff, and we'd throw in all this crazy jazz fusion stuff in between, and the dancers were going, what's going on here? <laughs> you know? There are many <laughs> questionable gigs. Yeah. This project really, it it's pretty amazing when when we think we haven't played like in 35, 40 years. We're all so much older. Uh, the fact that we haven't played together in such a long time, yet, you know, getting together as just people, I realize how much we still enjoy each other's company. Um, that friendship is still there. We're all kind of the same, you know, and we were teenagers when we kind of started this, and I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Look, you're lucky I have the camera guy over here, man. Because you know, you know what I would do. <laughs> Jersey's coming out, man. Look out. <laughs> yes, I do live in New Jersey. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's really, really great fun. So uh, I'm having a blast. Um, I can't play any of the music, so when you listen to it, um, don't listen to the bass parts too much because it's like. You know, <laughs> Stop. 
I mean, it's the three questions. I answered the three questions, right? Exactly, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. All the big boys play here. <laughs> so does that mean I'm a big boy? I don't know. <laughs> okay, enough already. <laughs>